Hey, good day to you. This is Todd. I'm just a regular dude walking in the Word. Thanks for joining us as we are continuing our journey through the book of Matthew. Today we're talking about uh, the First Communion, okay? Uh, the main point I want you to see from, from this, what we read today, um, and this is the Last Supper, okay, where um, Jesus, you know, serves um, bread and uh, wine, and it's he says it's to commemorate uh, do this in remembrance of me. Okay, so this is not the literal blood and a body of Jesus. Okay, so but the, it's a symbol of it. Um, so I have here um, a sticker, and it's uh, it says I love Taco Bus. This is not this the sticker is a symbol to remind me to go to Taco Bus. I love Taco Bus. So um, it's a symbol to to remind me of Taco Bus. Okay, this is not the taco bus. So when I say I'm going, we're going to taco bus, we don't pull up to the sticker. Okay, the sticker is here to remind me to go to taco bus. All right. So in the same way, those elements um, are there to remind us, um, um, and they're symbols of the blood and body of Jesus. Okay. So let's read today. We're going to be reading from Matthew. 26 17 through 30 so if you have your bibles you can turn to it and put your glasses on if you're <clears throat> like me it says this on the first day of the festival of unleavened bread the disciples came to jesus and asked where do you want us to make the preparations for, to eat the passover okay and remember the passover goes all the way back to moses instituting it in in um, when they left Egypt okay and it was done um, to remember the Passover uh, back in Egypt when the angel of death passed over their house okay so this festival has been going on for uh, a long time here and they're they're doing this okay verse 18 he replied go into the city to a certain man and tell him the teacher says my appointed time is near. I am going to celebrate the Passover with my disciples at your house. So the disciples did as Jesus had directed them and prepared the Passover. When evening came, Jesus was reclining at the table with the twelve. And while they were eating, he said, Truly I tell you, one of you will betray me. They were very sad and began to say to him, one after the other, Surely you don't mean me, Lord. Naturally, this would be um, a blow. Uh, these guys had been with him for a long time. And for him to say, one of you is going to betray me, they'd be like, oh, man, that's terrible. And I wonder who that is. And so, um, so they began to ask Jesus, you know, surely you don't mean me. You know, they're like, is it me? Did I, am I going to mess up? And so, and then verse 23 Jesus replied, the one who has dipped his hand into the bowl with me will betray me. The Son of Man will go just as it is written about him. But the woe to the man who betrays the Son of Man, it would be better for him if he had not been born. Then Judas, the one who betrayed him, said, surely you don't mean me, Rabbi. Jesus answered, you have said so. Okay, so Judas, everyone else, everyone there is asking, do you mean me? And so Judas knows good and well it's him, uh, but he's he's asking, he's playing along with it, you don't mean me, to see if Jesus knows it's him, okay? And obviously Jesus does know it's him, okay? <clears throat> and um, so Jesus answered, you have said so. Verse 26, while they were eating, Jesus took the bread, and when he had given thanks, he broke it and gave it to his disciples and said, take and eat, this is my body. Then he took the cup, and when he had given thanks, he gave it to all them, saying, Drink from it, all of you. This is the blood of the covenant which is poured out for many for the forgiveness of sins. I tell you, I will not drink from this fruit of the vine from now until the day when I drink it new with you in, the, in my Father's kingdom. When they had sung a hymn, they went out to the Mount of Olives. Okay? So in this passage, it's, it's um, it, like I said before, it's talking about uh, communion, the first communion, and G how Jesus says, this is that you're to do this to remember me, okay? Um, and it, it, it's, a, it's a good thing to do. We, you know, we have different holidays that we, we just had um, Memorial Day, 
and that's to to honor um, those who served our country okay so those things and even the Passover was done to remember that they were slaves in Egypt and how God freed them all those things are there to remind us of that and Jesus said I want you to start doing this now I want you to when you get together and and there's a time set aside for this when you have communion and take the bread and then um, and the uh, wine you, you're to do this in, in remembrance of me okay so you don't forget about uh, what happened okay and so it's a symbol like that and like I said before um, it's to help us uh, you know this is uh, a symbol to remind me uh, to go to taco bus you know and, and um, and so forth this is not the taco bus okay and just in the same way uh, communion is a symbol there to remind us it is not um, the actual blood and, and body of Jesus okay um, that we're eating so um, anyway that's a, a false teaching that has come about through the Catholic uh, Catholic teaching really because I, I don't know how you could get that through the what it says here in the Bible but anyway that's what what has happened here but Remember this today. Communion is symbolic of the blood and body of Jesus so that we don't forget about what Jesus has done for us. All right. Thanks for watching. I'm just a regular dude walking in the Word, and I look forward to seeing you tomorrow as we continue our journey through the book of Matthew. Lord's blessing. I'll see you then.